Hi you guys, um, so today I'm going to do uh, my 10 closet must have. Um, well this one, this video would be tapered to girls. Um, there are a couple things in there that guys can use but I will do um, a separate one. My um, 10 closet uh, must haves for guys as well as some of the opinions of um, one of my friends. Um, in terms of, well, one of my male friends, obviously, in terms of his 10 must-haves, um, so that you can see um, what there are for guys. So, I have no fear, guys. I'll bring it up for you, too. So, these are my 10 closet must-haves. Uh, of course, other people will think or uh, will find other things that they sh think should be present in your closet, but these are the things that I think if you do have possession of. You swing, swing it up, girl, swing, swing it up till it is located. Okay. Okay, so uh, my number one for the must-haves is a blazer. Come here and grind. Go first. Say, come, let me now, this to me is very important. Like what I say with blazers is you can get a good one for $250, $300. I know Bang Bang has some nice ones. And nice in terms of color. And sometimes you get nice little detailing like a gold button or a, a pocket at the front if you invest in a good blazer even just one and you wear it with everything that you have you will no doubt look if you have Sheep. a work jacket that has a nice button detailing on it it can pass for a blazer which is technically what it is just a jacket that you wear outside of a suit um i'll go look up a definition in the event i have that wrong but that is what i get from it um and if you get a good blazer or you even take one that you wear with maybe you had like bullet of work or anything an interview or you have one suit and you have a nice jacket with it you can buy that and wear it oh well if you already have it take it out your closet and wear it um it will immediately make your outfit look better i am not kidding Let me lift it up. Bring it okay the number two on my list um is teeth it the camera cut off when i started to talk about this in my <laughs> Um, so t-shirts are very important and I know you would think that oh, why the, why on earth would you would I pick tees as a must have it's because they're very easy to accessorize if you have a t-shirt now I sometimes I overdo it with the colors and ranges of t-shirts I have I used to do that but I've stopped um, and when I say tees I mean tees and vests but what we call vests in Trinidad which is like a tank top or a tee back racer back top um, if you get those in many different colors, they are they are good things to have in your closet because you can layer them. They are things that you can wear underneath blazers, like I get, like I said before, shirts, plaid shirts, denim shirts. So many things that you can do with them and use them to create layers. I think they are a must-have in your. Come here and wine. Go Number three, of course, is accessories. I always talk about. Anything, just give it. If you invest in some good accessories your outfits will immediately begin to look better um you go out and you wear no bangles or earrings or chain it you will next time put an entire outfit on and then look at yourself maybe take a picture then put some accessories on and take a picture and you'll see that it looks different i know it might sound funny but it's actually true in my opinion anything that you wear and you put just one chain on or one pair of earrings on immediately begins to look a little bit more fancy a little bit more dressed up just more fashionable on the whole so that to me a closet must have accessories is just a must have. Uh, my number four is a good pair of oh, jeans good denim good denim if you have at least one perfect fitting expensive because usually the ones that are expensive are the ones that fit you the best pair of jeans you would be amazed at how good you can make your know, position I'm, I'm, I'm repeating that line it's a true. lot because having a good pair of jeans is good because you never know where you have to go and you don't want to wear the same jeans that you wear to school or to your normal fun friendly events you want to have that good one where you can put a nice top and a nice blazer on because not all the time you, you might, you know, like you have those semi-formal events. Yeah, you can, can you? So it depends on how chic you make the outfit. But if you want to have an outfit like that where you have a good solid pair of jeans and a nice pair of pumps, I have an outfit of the day like that. I will link that here so that you can see that you need to have that one pair of jeans that just, mm, put it on, put anything on with it, perfect. 
Bend it right back, baby, don't stop. Push it up, please. Um, I am a five, of course, with a little black dress. Or just a little hot top dress. Nice. Till the morning, till the sun. A nice dress. That is a call that must have been. You never know where you have to go. You never know that one person could be your significant other, could be your not significant other. <laughs> it's going to add no good. That sounds so bad. No, not anyway. For those of you who have those kinds of minds, for your friend you could be a good friend um, that asks you out or to go with them, accompany them to a family gathering or to dinner, they, you know, they need a date or just you go into love. You need to have that good, really chic looking little black dress or slash club dress. Um, it, it really is a closet must have. So invest in one, it doesn't, you don't need to have five. You can just have one because I don't think you, well, I don't know what your social life is like, but I'm not, I, I, I doubt that every weekend you have somewhere to go that you need to wear that dress. I don't know what kind of lifestyles you live, but um, I, I don't think you're going to need to have the dress worn that much, but that's my number five. Yeah. Number six is... Tick, tick it up, no friend. Like her pass one to the leg, then bun, but you still... You need to have a, a, an, in, in particular, maxi skirt. Having one maxi skirt is a good alternative to having a, a dress, a nice formal dress. Sometimes you have somewhere to go and let's say it's like a, it's a dinner, yes, but maybe the person you're going with isn't, you know, sometimes you think, oh, I don't want to wear my good dress. Or maybe the dress might be a little too formal, but everything else you have is either too hot, as in sexy, or, you know, having a good maxi skirt is good so that you can use one of those vests. I spoke about tucking into the maxi skirt, wear a nice little belt around it, some nice accessories. I, I, everything that I've spoken about so far, you can have it in one, and some quantity equals one. You can have one of those, and your closet will immediately be better. <laughs> Is an eccentric shoe. <laughs> Come here and wine, go fresh. Come here and grind, go fresh. Say, come, let me jack it up, go fresh. Now, this may sound weird, and people are like, well, why are you going to have that? Because it's fashionable. Nobody really can deny that funky looking things, weird looking things, or things that you won't find everywhere in every store always makes you look yeah the camera cut again but yeah it always makes you look um different i had two um well i have one that I, um, i'm wearing now um eccentric pairs of shoes um the first one was this brown one with this really big brown leathery looking flower on it and i mean some people of course they would hate the shoe and if they were the shoe wearing that but um at the end of the day nobody else had the shoe one at the end of the day, when I wear certain things in certain colors, it did stand out. It did make it look cute, funky. So forget what everybody else says. And so it's a good, it's a good option. It's a good thing. Even you need your heels. Get a pair of heels that not everybody has. And I know that's difficult in Trinidad because we have a lot of stores with the same damn shoes all the time. So what I suggest <laughs> is that maybe go online and order shoes. Shoes. I know it's not as easy for everybody as maybe others but maybe you can find a friend or one person that has maybe a card um, one of those visa travel cards that's how I order my um, stuff online if you want um, advice on that on on getting one because you it's not a credit card you put your money on it you can inbox me and I will mail you the information as to how to get one from Republic Bank um, but yeah you can use one of those, yeah, find a friend or maybe like a group of five of you all just find one person up and you put money on it and you make a collective um, purchase, you know, make a little thing like that. Um, so, order something online, probably won't get it in Trinidad because it's ordered on from the internet. So that's a good option for you to have weird looking shoes or shoes that are Once again, as well, nudes are a A nude pair of pumps new pair of any shoe, it could be even a flat, is chic. It will always make your outfit look good. And some of you might get fed up of seeing somebody wearing the same new pair of shoes, but they cannot deny that it does not does not look fabulous, chic, fashionable. So get your pair, get yourself a pair. Some people say you know you must always have a pair of black shoes. I think you must always have a pair of new shoes. Like it up, no friend, like her um, color, color is something that's number 
Something that I think is another must have. Bright colors are in all the time. Every season, you'll always see somebody come and say, it's, 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 this, this holiday season, it's bright colors. Oh, it's Christmas time, it's bright colors. Well, you know, we only have two seasons here. So when I say seasons, it could be like, you know, coming down to the end of the year, beginning of the year, school start back, blah, 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 blah. It's always color. It's always going to be color. Color is never going to go away. They might probably change what type of colors, but it's always color. You can always use color. You can't get in trouble. Nobody's gonna say, "Oh, she's wearing such a colorful outfit." It's not very um the season. That's not gonna happen. So, having some nice colors in your wardrobe. So, what I'm in other words, in the things that I'm telling you to buy or have tees and your um, your dress and your shoes, having them in colorful, very bright, nice colors, not just grays and browns. Although those are great too are going to always make you look brighter, more vibrant, more fashionable, more out there, easy going, nice, easy to talk to. Color always gives that bright vibe. And it also, it, you know, you would be amazed at how much what you wear can affect how you feel. So investing in something that's colorful can only really help to make you feel better. The last one, I mean, this one is a little risky. Well, not really risky, but um, just for the females, for real. <laughs> um, is to have Pass one till you like them bun but you're still going on the fray Girl swing swing it up, girl swing swing it up till it is okay that way I'm screwing up your face, 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 face Come here and watch The closet must have You need to guess that, that cleavage, that lift That loveliness I think um, having a good bra, no bras A good strapless bra and a good strapped bra With adjustable straps and things like that is a good thing to have because sometimes you can look so messy with crappy bras and or you don't fit into your clothes the right way so we uh, boobs are something that we have and something that we have to deal with so really treat them well and make your clothes look a little bit presentable a little bit better um, by ensuring that you really have a good bra it's going to help so yeah that was my uh, 10 must-haves for the closet and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you don't have to have everything that I said or you might have your own stuff that you might think are more must have than others and make your closet to suit but these are just mine and it's mine and it's just to give you guys an idea so I hope you enjoyed this video like the video thumbs it up don't thumbs it down and leave any comments tell me what are your 10 must haves or the must haves that I you think I missed out or that you always have to have in the comment section send me a mail and suggest um, videos that you would like to see so have a good day everybody and i'm going to class finally goodbye